right, so we've got a creek that runs down the whole back side of our property. It's our whole back border. It's about five miles long. Um, and it is loaded with big, tasty crawfish. Crawl daddies, Louisiana special. So I've got these traps. They're called crawl dad traps. They're made by Frayville. And you all know how I like to do, I hate outsourcing. I like to do everything myself. As you saw with the, uh, my trap build, I'm showing y'all how to build bluefish, blue crab traps. But I looked these up on Amazon and delivered to the door. They're $9.50 a piece. I ordered them. Got some chicken wings, some old chicken wings that kind of got nasty in the freezer. Been letting them sit out. Um, I threw them in the back of the truck as we rode up here. Um, so they've just been sitting out all day. They're definitely not, you know, I didn't let them rot. Um, but uh, they've just been slowly dethawing and sitting in the heat for eight, 10 hours. I'm just gonna drop a couple in there. We put ropes on the trap. We have alligator snapping turtles in this creek. Big ones. I got a picture of one that I caught trying to get into a trap. I went to check them at night. Um, and it was like 50 pounds. It was the size of a, a man cover. Uh, so also we get a bunch of rain at night. That creek starts ripping through. So we tie them to a tree so that we know where they're at. If something grabs them, tries to take off with them, a beaver, a, a turtle, whatever, an otter, um, at least we don't lose the traps. Um, so we've got a couple of good access points. Uh, one's an old dike where we can drive right up to the creek. Another one's a bridge crossing because we do own a little bit of property on the other side. We built a little, a little bridge, which I'll show you. Uh, so we're going to go dunk these in the creek, leave them overnight, um, maybe two nights. Hopefully we get a bunch of crawl dads to have for dinner one night. Ready? All right, so we're at the trail to what we call the bridge. It's a little wooden bridge that we built that I will show you. I am bringing a gun. We are being kind of noisy driving back and forth. I actually drove right by the trail. Everything's so overgrown throughout the summer. Um, but I have learned I can do this walk 50 times and never see a pig. The one time I forget, don't bring the rifle. Yeah. Just two? A pickle. Right. Stand there. Yep, we'll just put out two here. So you can see, we actually keep this trail really clear with brushing and uh, things. We just cut this trail out last year and look at how overgrown it is. This place throughout the summer, and you can see how thick it is. Um, that's why we're here. We're gonna hook the tractor up, kind of bush hog through all this and try to knock these trails back in, give us our access points. It also makes good travel lanes for the deer and it clears out around some of these oak trees, which makes it easier for them to come in and feed on acorns and stuff. Well, you can see how I drove right by it. This trail is over and grown. spot somewhere right here in this creek put down these crawl dad traps and uh, we'll see what we get all right so I got Marissa right there on the bridge she's gonna drop one right off the base down there and just tie the rope right to the bridge I'm just gonna come down this creek a little bit you can see while I'm wearing my mud boots I'm going to tuck this one right up in these branches here. Kind of give it some kind of tucked in aspect. 
We just got a couple of chicken wings in it. Oh, I like that little hole right there. Perfect. You gonna tie it right here to this tree branch. So like I said, if a otter or beaver or something comes along, it can't just take it off with the trap. That's the trap and about a foot and a half of water. We'll come back and check it tomorrow. Marissa's over there putting another trap out right there. Hopefully, we'll have some dinner. You know, it's amazing how thick it's gotten in here. We got some really bad tornadoes. Oh, there goes Marissa throwing hers in. We got some really bad tornadoes a couple years ago and it knocked a lot of these big, beautiful trees down. But what it did, and it's amazing how nature works, it was really dense in here and not much sunlight was getting down. When those trees got knocked out, it opened up the canopy. Well, that sunlight started getting through and this underbrush went berserk. You used to be able to see 150, 200 yards through here. Now you can't see hardly at all. We got this cool little ladder that takes us right up onto our bridge. We own about 30 acres on this side of the creek, which is why we put the bridge in so we can get across. Just so that we could have access to our property. We hunt over there sometimes, but you know, we wanted access. I wish I had been recording back when we built this bridge. That was a sight to be seen. I have a couple of buddies who looked at me as we finished it and said never again. So I hope we never lose this bridge because I don't think they're going to help me rebuild it. Hey baby. Yeah. You see how this, is it sitting on the bottom? Yeah. Perfect. Leave it just like that. That scent will bring them in. All right. Where is yours at? See the rope on that oh, tree? Oh, okay. yep. All right, we got two in here. We're gonna run down to what we call the dike. It used to be a road. Uh, the owner, previous people that owned this way back 25 years ago used to duck on here and they put a big culvert system in. It got washed out of flood like the first year we bought this property. But we do have a road that gives us access right to the creek, obviously. If you don't have a cut trail or a road access, you are not bush plowing your way through here. sunshine water and woods love us so we've been on the tractor all day bush hogging getting all that prepped now time to go check some crawdad traps gotta have the angle with us we do nothing but scream and yell if we left them behind we got hobs in the back seat what's up Aubrey? Yeah. all right Let's go see if we did any good last night. Right, huh? 
Mm -hmm. All the flies. I wanted to go further. You said not. You said no. Remember? He's already in the creek. Come on, Dan. Come on. Dan's been waiting for this part all day. I see our chicken wings in there, so. I see your rope. No, this one's my rope, that one's your rope. No. <laughs> I hear flipping. There's a few in there. There's three. No. What? Wow, that one's pretty big. This One, is. two, three, four, five. Ooh, there's a big one in there. They are pretty big. All right, let's stand it up. Uh, get them set it right here in the crack. Yeah, you can them out. Yeah, exactly. Set it over this way. Crack the sides. What do you want me to do? Pop it open. Open. And then we're going to put it in the bucket. Yeah, it's the only And we're going to re-throw the trap back? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Wait. Right. Just set the bucket here. We don't want to dump the chicken out. I'm just going to reach in and grab them and throw them in the bucket. Don't open it until... Bring the bucket over here. Yeah. Oh, look at that size of that one. Like mini lobsters. Won't let go. <laughs> Three. Oh, and what? Yeah. Four. Right. That was it. Two more in there. Oh, that was it. Do At least they don't need all the bait. So we got our frogs frying. Crawfish or cooking. Oh, we got a scraggler. Crawfish are cooking. Frog legs will take two to three minutes per side. Crawfish will take eight to ten minutes so they get good and red and show hard boil. And then we're gonna eat. All right, so even though I don't have a boiler pot, what I have is a strainer. And what I've done is I've kind of mounted the strainer at the top of the pot so that the crawdads aren't actually in the water. They're getting steamed 
by the steam coming off the water. Um, just keeps all their juices in without mixing in a bunch of steamer water. Frogs are frying, they're about done. I would say another 30 or 40 seconds, I'm gonna pull them off. Spinach souffle, straight out of the freezer into the microwave. Quick and easy, gotta pack up. Wrap it up and be done. Time for dinner, I'm hungry. All right, so I'm Sean Water and Woods Lovers, Likers. We got some crawl baths, got some frog. We got some spinach souffle, some potato pancakes. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up with be thankful for what you have. Be mindful for those that are in need. We're going to sit down and eat. Love y'all. See you on the next one.